today, guys. So apologies for the audio. If you can't hear anything, I'm gonna scrap this whole clip. Heading over to Studio 35 here in Columbus to a screening of the Minimalism film. And then afterwards, it's myself and then the people at the organization called Simply Living are going to be hosting a small Q&A and uh, it's fun. Any chance I get an opportunity to talk about minimalism, I kind of like jump on it just because it's really enjoy and it's helps to help me live a more meaningful life. Not gonna record too much video, probably, but here's that. You work corporate, you climb the ladder, you make a bunch of money, you buy a bunch of stuff, and realize you're still not happy. No matter how many more things you buy or like what you spend your money on, it's not going to add more to living a meaningful life. So um, yeah, Q&A went pretty well. It's always really good every time I see it. So if you haven't and you have Netflix or Hulu or just head over to minimalismfilm.com, check it out. It's it's worth your time. And uh, let's see, fix this. I'm gonna start planning for this contest that Filmic is hosting. So Filmic Pro is the app that I use to shoot video on, on my phone. They're hosting a contest for making a video shot on your phone with their app. So figure it out somehow. Anyway, so I, I might film some of that too or, or something. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Just a quick wrap up for the video today. Minimalism event was pretty great. And I also got to see a new co-working space that's literally five minutes from where I am right now. It's called the Salt Mines and hadn't heard of it before, but the organization that sponsored the event also has a space over there. And so I got to see their offices, shoot a little bit of B-roll and just like get to know a little bit more about essentially what's in your backyard. So it's, it's I don't know, it's neat like, walking to places like you you get to find things like that are like right next to you that you never knew were there that could be incredibly fascinating and i kind of i don't know i love getting around doing that i should do it more often went to the market and found this rad little um this look this is milk tea and um i just thought that the bottle was uh, pretty great looking so picked one up yeah q a is always pretty fun when it's about minimalism and things that i like uh, things that i love talking about like q a around that subject is always really fun i've been realizing after the 30-day minimalism, minimalism challenge and getting rid of like a lot of things what comes after that is like the mental clutter that you began to notice that was taking up all that space along with that stuff that takes a little bit longer to let go of how do you mentally prepare to let go of things that you feel like are important or like you you ask yourself the question like you know just in case i i'm gonna need this i should probably keep it if you're thinking those kinds of things around stuff they were wondering like, what is the mental preparation that you can do to get rid of that and like one thing that i do is like i look at something and if i have not touched it in the last three months it's like oh maybe i, I won't use that in the future and then if i'm not sure i'll make a note in like a calendar or a reminder somewhere like to remind myself three months from now if I still haven't touched this thing, then I can let it go. That's how much time I, I choose to, to give myself usually if I'm gonna let go of something and I'm not sure if I should let it go. Obviously that won't work in the 30 day minimalism challenge, but just decluttering in general, that's, that's something that works for me. Anyhow, all in all, successful day, had a great time and uh, thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one.